had some dwarves try to go hunting. Some of the people that showed up apparently had a, a hunting skill. Unfortunately, it didn't bode too well for one of them. He's stunned and in pain. He's got damage all over his body. Bruises, cuts, broken bones, gashes. If he has any heart, he'll carry his ass back to base. His friend here, Kumail, Rope Portals, is bringing back the body of whatever that M is. A mouse, maybe? Um, Wyglaf, he's recovering the wounded, so... Wyglaf Balance Paper is going out there to recover that wounded dwarf. Watch out for the dragon I've heard out there. I've heard legends and rumors. He's stunned by the sun, puking. We need a statue garden, that's what we need, here. Um, up here by my... You know what, maybe that's what I should do. No, I'm not gonna turn my house into a statue garden, are they insane? We'll build it here. I made a couple statues. We'll place these four. I was gonna save them for my house up there, but unfortunately... We need a statue garden so these fools quit puking. We've got 13 idlers up there. That is just so many. You know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna turn a bunch of them into stone smoothers. Let's see. Read the dwarves. There we go. And I want them to just smooth some of this down. I don't know what everyone else has planned to be smoothed down. Um, let's smooth down this stockpile. I just want them working on their skills right now. At least their, I think their strength and dexterity and stuff like that will, will improve. Go polish the stone floors and clean them or something. Quit standing around eating food all day long. We currently have, I guess, 236 plants. Not nearly enough seeds. We'll get this statue garden turned on here. Don't go wandering too far, dwarves. When you come outside to stare at the clouds and the sun. You know what? I did buy some wood too, so I'm going to make a bed. I need that for my house up there. How many beds do we have down here? Yeah, I don't know about all your other nameless dwarfs, but I'm, I'm going to live on the surface. We've got plenty of beds. Are they all claimed? Nobody, nobody. 24 volunteers, there's your room. Zhang, Nish, Zanzush, uh, Wyglaf, Master Azra, there's your bedroom. Ozymandias, you guys got some of the good bedrooms up here. Halcyon, Nixiter. Whatever, I want to see the clouds, man. Magma's flowing pretty good into the grill, and looks like the there are workshops. Maybe that's what all of these are for later on. To expand the workshops. It's a pretty easy way to expand it. I kind of like that design. It's very modular. I don't know what any of these levers do, so I'm not pulling any of them just yet. We have struck a lunite. Praise the, praise the gods, the stone gods. Let's see, all these doors are going to be hooked up to levers. That way, whenever I flood the river, it's controlled. We'll do that in the proper order so no dwarves get caught up behind the doors and starve to death. Hopefully. But it is 17th slate midspring, and I'm just going to let the dwarves continue working, polishing those stone floors. And I'm probably going to draft a military unit soon. Horsefall! A human caravan from Heth Ramong has arrived, as well as a human guild representative. Where are they at? Looks like they arrived over there. They're, they're safe from the dragon. They're not anywhere close to it. Um, I've got an outdoor barracks being worked on here. Currently have the bottom floor done. Let's see. I don't have any weapon racks made? That's ridiculous. Or armor stand? I could have swore I... Set those to be made. But we're gonna place armor stands in there, weapon racks, and have some of the military training. I've recruited one squad of permanent fighters. Um, they're named after some friends of mine, so 
Hopefully we can give them a home up there, and then any of the later leaders can feel free to add to that squad. There's only three of them right now, even though I might add my dwarf to the, um, to the squad before I leave. I'm not sure what my dwarf is doing right now. He's running around butt naked, looking for a new pair of clothes to wear. It is 13th Hematai, early summer. We have made it through spring. The, uh, I expanded this huge section for the tree farm, and I'm having the dwarves haul the rocks out of here right now. I, I don't know if it's just an old wives' tale I heard, but I'm pretty sure if there are rocks there, stones on top of the ground, then trees will not be able to grow. So that is going to take quite some time. I have placed the dump zone somewhere close, I believe. I hope I didn't make them run too far to drop stuff. But we'll see if it bogs down too much, I'll cancel that job. I don't want to have to punish anyone else with 5,000 dumping jobs later on. The merchants pull into our trade depot and start scattering their goods all over the place. Let's see... I don't know how many crafts we've made. Any, maybe? We'll take our three finished good bins there. Call our, re our broker to show up. And we'll see what they have to offer. If it's anything good, I'll come back. I'm sure they've brought wood. I can see the, s the logs flashing around. So yeah, I'll come back once we've got a broker there. And we'll see what they're offering us. Look at all these dogs. I'm going to have to train some of them or slaughter them. Let's train them into war dogs for the squad. Oh god, an ambush. It is 24th Hematite, early summer. And there is a goblin. Oh, how do I get this bridge up? Did they ever get the bridges hooked up? Well, there's the bridge. We do have a row of cage traps, but unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be able to stop them. This is the squad I drafted. Three people. Ali Karras. I'm going to station them right here. Station them. See if I can remember how to do that. Yep. I'll try to get them to go there, and let me look around real quick. I don't, I don't see any levers even close to the bridge. I don't see any levers on this floor. These two levers I placed, and will control the floodgates for the, uh, the tower cap farm down there. So let's see, go down, 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 down. And there are all these levers here. Nothing's marked. Can you put notes on levers by chance? I don't believe you can. Um, bauxite, bauxite, bauxite. So hopefully nobody made bauxite levers that are not meant to be marked as magma or whatever. I mean, hopefully these, since they're made of bauxite and red, means they're hooked up to the magma force. So I won't pull those. Um, you know what? Pull these both of those levers. I don't care who it is. Let's go see. We'll pull those up. And the goblins chase after 24 volunteers. He's running out into the river. This goblin is equipped with nothing. He doesn't have any weapons. This goblin is a goblin swordsman. He's got an iron longsword and an iron shield. Run, 24 volunteers. The goblins chase him upriver. Yep, and the drawbridge has been pulled, so the goblins will be sealed outside. Unfortunately, though, I think we're going to lose 24 volunteers. He, they've not managed to catch him yet, so if he can run around long enough, maybe they'll get bored with it. He trips and stumbles on the grass, stubbing his knee. He begins puking from the panic. He jumps over a log. Looks like only the goblin Aztong Tomeslies is able to keep up, and he's the one that doesn't have any gear. So he's more or less just a stripped-down goblin wrestler, meant to catch up with these people. 24 volunteers run to the dragon. Maybe the dragon will eat the goblins. Run for all your might. This is probably the most fun I'm going to get to have this season because we're not putting those drawbridges back down. At least I'm not. Maybe we'll send the military, our, our weak, naked military out there. 24 volunteers tries to run to another region. Fortunately, there is no zoning. There's a wall there, and you bounce back. You're still puking all over the place. The 
The goblins are getting a little bit more spread out, however. Oh, and finally the goblins catch up to you. You we you stop wheezing. Aztog has become enraged. Well, you punched Aztog Tome Slices, the, the wrestling goblin, and knocked him out. Looks like you also knocked the other one out. Or maybe. We'll see. We'll let them fight a little bit more. The goblins catch up to you. You take off running again. You try to dive and pile through one. But his sword cuts you in half. A huge chunk of you goes flying off this way. It is your lower body. It flipped and flailed around in a bloody arc. And 24 volunteers, you are no more. Just pieces of you. Here is your right hand. So rest in peace, 24 volunteers. Looks like the goblins got what they came for. One dwarf. You put a hurtin' on that one. You broke his right upper arm in a game of pinochles. He'll limp back to his dark citadel and rue the day he messed with you. So that's all the fun for now. I'm going to leave those drawbridges pulled up just for a bit. And let's see what we've got to trade, actually. Again, I'm not going to give them our, our goods bin. I think those are the only ones we've got, three of them. But we will trade off all these crafts before we get swamped down in them. Might be a while for the next trader to show up. I got pretty good money here. 4,000 dwarf bucks? Whoa. Okay. Thought I might have selected a finished good bin for a second. A micro lion idol. So we got almost 6,000 dwarf bucks to spend. I'm going to pick up all these iron bars, all this wood, cigarro wood, palm wood, willow wood. Man, we really don't even need a, a fungi a tower cap tunnel. I'll pick up these ropes. I'm not going to buy those trumpets, though. Whip wine. Delicious. We don't need a mule. we got more than enough animals here. Strawberry wine. Uh, palm barrel. More whip wine. Strawberry wine. More strawberry wine. How about buying all these barrels, too? Well, no, wait. Those are expensive. Somebody put a lot of work into those barrels. They're fancy. They have pictures etched on the sides of them. Um, we will buy a battle axe, another pickaxe for our miners, a short sword. Save our money there. How about one iron shield? Fishery berries, yes. Whip vine seeds, yes. Emerald dye, absolutely. And blade weed. And wild strawberry. They were complaining about that earlier. I will trade for some leather too. And start hopefully making some leather armor. I don't think anybody needs it though, our military is not that large. So just a few of those will be fine, I don't want to get too much. Mountain goat bone, iron bolts, those are expensive. Um, buy all this meat too. Cheetah meat. And let's see, large iron chain leggings, no. We don't have anyone large here. That's not for dwarves anyways. One humped camel cheese, yep, we'll take all that. Are you willing to part with your goods for this, my friend? Ah, wonderful. Thank you for your business. So we'll take our, our goods back. Let's tell our broker he can leave. And we'll mourn the loss of 24 volunteers and let the dwarfs get back to work. When the humans say they're packing up, I'll go ahead and lower the bridge and we can watch them leave and hope an ambush doesn't jump into the front of the fort at that moment. It's 27th Hematite, 153, early spring. 